Uh, it's it's <coughs> fantastic to be here tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. Can I just say a couple of things beforehand? Um, uh, great to see Mr. Simpson, sir. Great to see you here. Great to see you here, sir. I'm a bit nervous to call me. You know what? You know, like, like, I, I can't do that. But uh, um, uh, when I get Kings and, and some of the, uh, uh, my, uh, my, my uh, fellow classmates uh, over there, you know, uh, Jack Brendan was our, our rep, and what a great man Jack was. And, um, um, uh, a gentle, hugely um, committed man that uh, uh, had a really a gentle way about him. Um, but, you know, uh, handed the school over to, um, to Ian Simpson, and uh, we took off. We really, really did. Um, and he was um, a good man, but a tough man. A good man, but a very, very tough man. Um, <clears throat> when I became head boy at school, at, um, I, uh, I love school. I just absolutely love school. And, uh, and I was in the, a, uh, in the sixth form, and uh, uh, so said, Mr. Mr. Simpson said, oh, you know, we would want you to be head boy. And um, I said, well, sir, I'm, I'm just, I can't believe it. I'm just over the moon. He said, just relax. There's not much choice. <laughs> <laughs> and so there I was here with uh, King Thomas. Second year comes around, and I've been around here, and pop at his office. And uh, I said, the same thing, sir? He said, yeah, that's the same reason. He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just wanted to thank, I think we all know this room what uh, ended for um, King's High School. Do you know, uh, he, uh, he really put us on the map. Do you know, he gave us pride about ourselves. And, when I was there, it was only 400 of us, a bit, a bit more than that, so just probably 400 boys here at, uh, at, um, at, at school. And, uh, and we were immensely proud to be, you know, we had a, a lot of step from up the hill for Tiger boys and we, you know, uh, uh, the old enemy, but, you know, um, he gave us that pride about ourselves, really. And the thing, too, that he did was he, he gave, gave us some academic backbone um, and he gave us some belief in ourselves. So, sir, thank you. You know, thank you on behalf of us. You know, it's the reason why I'm standing here today, because, uh, the men in this room um, um, uh, helped me be the man that I am. And I, David and I were honoured to get a plaque, and the, the, the frame is made out of the old foyer. And we were really honoured to, to get that. But really, that plaque is a reflection of not what David and I have done, but about you. It's about our, our classmates and about the teachers that, that taught us. And I, I was overjoyed to see a, a Heck Brow here, uh, Mr. Brow, and, um, because he taught me in economics in the fifth form. And, um, and uh, he, you know when you love a subject, I, we never knew how to handle Mr. Brown because he always dressed so really beautifully, didn't he? A bow tie, and, and so we're all a bit nervous. We had, Should we give him a hard time? We took one of Mr. Brown's and yeah, that's not a good idea. But I um, loved the classes, sir. And I, I really tried really, really hard. And, um, and um, Mr. Brown really gave me sort of, uh, uh, made me think about, man, this is a good job teaching. It's a great job teaching. It's a good job. So I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Um, and um, uh, you're a great man, a great teacher, and motivated so many of us and did great things for us. And uh, stand here because of you, sir, because of all your hard work and all the things that you made that uh, lead us. So thank you, sir. I want to just mention uh, Mr. Barr, um, John Barr, who, um, J John just did everything. He, he's filming here, he did basketball, he did absolutely, and he taught me maths. And when you say taught, that's a bit of a stretch, because I was never a mathematician. I said to Mr. Barr, sir, I remember, you know, you taught me maths, and, and um, he said, yeah, I did a good job because your mother hugged me. I said, my mum hugged me because she knew how hard that was. <laughs> That's really what it was about. So I'm um, good to see you. And I know um, um, the Creedy family are here. Where are they? Oh, bless you. Yeah, thank you. Um, it was Jack McCready, was, uh, um, when he dropped the glasses, you know you're in trouble. And he had that way of just, when he, it, was, it was all okay when the glasses were here. When the glasses were here, it was all over. It was just all over. But, but I, um, a really good man, uh, Mr. McCready. And, uh, and as I said before, you know, I stand before you because uh, lots of men uh, and teachers took care of us and loved us and cared about us. So that's why, you know, I stand here before you, like that, and I'm sure David as well. Um, can I also um, thank, um, um, the, the, there's a table of my, you know, uh, Chris George and Neil Seaton and other. Um, you know, when I look at you, I feel, um, oh, I wish I'd gone to a co-ed school. <laughs> <laughs> story to, to today about Rob Saxon who's sitting over here and I haven't seen Rob oh, 30 odd years really and Rob was just you know he's one of those guys that could just do everything you know he'd come to school you know and I hardly 
that was a Vespa, but we always didn't think it was a Harley Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a cool role. But, um, you know, um, uh, man, a few words, but he could just seem to do everyone who wanted to be Rob Saxton. Everyone, an amazing basketball player, fantastic. But um, uh, again, hugely influential on me as a, as a young Maori boy that wanted to play a bit of sport, play basketball role, right? because I followed you. Do you know what I mean? Like you and Jeff Rodden and all those boys, you know, Pete Knockman, all those guys. I just, Dave Jarvis, all those guys, they were, just, they were my heroes. So everything I've done in my life, I can, I can um, point to this room. And when I last played for New Zealand in the year 2000, I, I can remember Piero, probably a handful of guys. The last time I played basketball for, for, for Kings, I can remember every single person. It was me, it was Toddy, it was Mark Kenton, it was Square, Joe Chris Stevens. We had, I can remember every single one of those uh, uh, guys, but I can only remember half of the, the, the last pullback team I played for. And that's because I loved the school. That's because the school um, made me into what I am now. And, and I, I remember Toddy and I standing stand there with. Um, you know, uh, just with Brian Drake, who was our coach, just with Straw and Craig Dunlop, who was our assistant coach, because we tried and tried, and we had two finals, we just never got to win it. And to this day, it's still the one thing that probably grates me and Tony the most, that we never, ever won that, uh, that championship. But I always say to people, we are there, and they say, no, and I tell them that we won't. So we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to um, say that, um, you know, um, in, in and my last year came, so you, you know Jim Neal, who's still there, I saw Jim today, he was a really great man, and he was our guidance, his career's guidance, and you know, he said to me, just before, a couple of weeks before school finished, he said, listen, what are you going to do? I said, sir, I think you're coming back. And he said, listen, you're 34 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, do you want to go teaching, go teaching. So Jim, Jim Neal was a person that, 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 that got me into teaching, he got me into teaching and, uh, and set me on this, uh, on this path. But it's, it's, um, it was so good to see Mr. Neal today. I'm looking forward to catching up with Brian Frost because he's just a, he was a great man, Frosty, you know, and, uh, and again, one of those inspirational teachers like Mr. Brown, like Mr. Brown, <coughs> like Mr. Simpson, you know, that uh, did great things for us, great things. So I'm really looking forward to them. Dan, is that a slow okay? Can I talk to you a start tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, just for a few minutes, just for a few minutes. I've got a few scores to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to um, uh, really finish up with uh, saying that, um, you know, um, uh, we are behind you, Dan. You know, there's, there's no doubt about it. Dan came and spent some time last year in London with me at some of the school I was, uh, I was running. And um, um, I was, I'd never met Dan before, but after an hour, I just thought, you know, uh, my mum, my mum, Annie, she passed away a couple of years ago, and I think she's a member of the, the association. She, was, she loved King's High School, loved Mr. Simpson, you know, loved the school, was at it, was at it. I know she would be, um, uh, just over the moon that, that you're our rector. I think you're a man with a, uh, an enormous heart. I, by walking around the school, you love those boys. Because those boys, it's your time. Um, they're your boys, and you're our rector. Do you know, you're our boss. Do you know, with the, with the ministry. Can I just share my thoughts as the principal of it? And, and strangely enough, Anne and I are going to dinner with the Prime Minister and, uh, and the, uh, a couple of Saturdays away, and with uh, the Ministry of Education, thank you. So trust me, we'll be so happy. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is my take on it, Dan. We get penalised for being successful. Yeah. We get penalised because we want to come to Kings. We get penalised for that, do you know? And it's, it is called poppy syndrome, exactly, exactly. It's, it's tall poppy, poppy, poppy syndrome. But here's what we do at Kings. We grow tall poppies. That's what we do. We grow young men that turn into tall poppies. That's what we do. That's our job. And so um, don't give up. Don't give up this fight because... Um, uh, you know, I think the real issue is kind of slightly controversial. There are other schools of one name, and the roles are falling. Don't have a conversation with this man. Go to those schools and say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Listen, you need to go and talk to that man over there because he's, he's got the secret. He's got the secret. That's the issue. And I think um, that um, we will be okay. I think um, if we all stand firm and stand strong, it's, it will be massive news to take King's High School to the High Court for being too successful. And I think, certainly, they wouldn't go to Auckland Grammar and say, we need a statutory manager there. Can I just be, they wouldn't go to Target Boys. No. Let's put a statutory manager in there. So, um, yeah, stick to your guns, sir. Stick to your guns. 
Um, and, you know, um, great schools have great leaders like Dan. We've even forgiven you for going to that target list for three years. <laughs> even, that's just wiped from most of the memories here. That's just wiped from the memories. Um, can I just share this, this uh, two last things with you? That uh, I did go to teachers' college. I met my wife, Anne. Um, and we'll be, married, we'll be married for 30 years, December the 10th this year. And says 14 good years. I just make mention of the fox for a market. Do you know? Um, I think um, uh, I only ever uh, fielded for Albion once on the boundary, very poorly. And all of a sudden, I'm in all these Albion things, like as a pass player and all that. But that was fox. Do you know what? Like, the, thing, the great thing about, uh, about Warren. Uh, was he loved us all, and and um, and um, the legacy that he lives, that's a big one, because he's got massive shoes to fill, but he breathed life into our organisation, our boys. I was in London, and he always found me, made sure I got the king, and we always made sure I got the newsletter, all of those things. And um, and Fox being the real character with what he was, but he always come up to me, and if there was anything bad going on, he'd always say this to me, at least we get the king. And I always, you know, I did it. I was always so proud. He was a great man, a just, a, just a great man, Fox, and, and very sad to hear of his, uh, of his passing. Um, I, I just finish up by saying um, thank you all for, for, for being here tonight. Um, uh, I spoke to the boys this morning, and David and I did, and um, every year, Dan and the boys write a, a new chapter in the Book of Kings. Every single year, a new chapter in the Book of Kings. And, um, and that story gets better and better and better every year. Because the great thing about Kings High School is we take boys from all sorts, you know, my mother brought five of us up by herself, and it looked up in Corsi, and we went to school with, you know, the Hintons and all these other people we came from, the Herberts, from different backgrounds. Widely, uh, uh, our socioeconomic groups are different, but we came for one purpose and we went to Kings. And the, and the story now that we are writing is something that we are revered nationally. People know us internationally as a school. No longer, when I used to go to, uh, you know, these these dinners and that kind of thing, people would say to me, "Oh, you're a tall black captain. You're saying what school did you go to?" And I'd say, "Kings." And you know what? Instantly they thought, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, "Kings and Kings in Auckland." And um, and I'd, I'd, I'm very precious about Kings, so I'd instantly I'd, I'd, I'd say, "Oh, I," because I, I, I was impressed by them. And I'd say, "No, Kings High School in Dunedin." And they go, mm, "Like that?" You tear them, you know. And um, I, I did an interview uh, a few days ago with the New Zealand Herald about education, about oh, what I think the vision for education, whatever. And um, she said to me, uh, what school did you go to? And I said, Kings. And she said, Auckland or Dunedin. Huh? Do you know? And oh, I just got hugged her. I got hugged her. Because that's where we're at now. Do you know, and you started that, sir. You started that revolution, <coughs> sir. You know, and Dan's picked it up now. And we, we're in new uncharted waters now. We're in a great place. So I finish by, th by thanking you all for being here tonight. Bless you all. Thank you all. Um, we are led by a great man who will go on and take us to, to even greater heights. Um, if you get the chance to spend a little bit of time with those boys, it's a joy. It's an absolute joy because they're great young men. You've grown great boys there. And can I thank you all because you're a beautiful looking crowd. And you know I'm only talking to women. <laughs> but um, can I thank you all um, because um, our school breathes and lives because of you, because you're here tonight. And so I'm looking forward to being in the association. I'm looking forward to being Dan's, um, uh, you know, wingman if he ever needs me. Um, but um, thank you all for um, my education, for those boys at that table there. We went to school together. Um, all the teachers, thanks to Rob Saxton for passing me the ball once. Thanks for that. Um, oh, good to see, um, just to, to Mr. Munro, George Munro, you, know, you all know George, and, and, um, and uh, he was, you know, no matter what the score was, we always did well. Do you know, and, and uh, George Munro was one of those, is forever an optimist. Do you know, and um, I know when Darren came to Kings, he was really excited. That, and Darren just was just a man, just went off cricket doing all sorts of stuff. But really, you know, George was the one. No matter what happened, we, you, you, I knew you were there for us all the time. So thank you. So um, bless you all. Thank you all. Don't drink too much at table there. And, um, <coughs> thanks for tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.